Lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. Know. Got a good signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Afternoon, people. Now, uh, this is a special one. <laughs> this is this is a request. Can I say? Yep, by a special request um, from Lou. Yeah, from Lou's life. And, and let's not forget, I didn't want Chris to miss out. That's Chris the Butcher and Friends being of his thing about <laughs> Robbie Williams. Look at that. So he dug out his Robbie Williams glass for now, us to review this wonderful Lambrini. This I only use for special occasions, Chris. So, you know, this is this is rare. So, anyway, we have. A bottle of Lambrini. And do you know what? That bottle is actually really cute. I love it. It's got love hearts on it and everything. Yeah, okay. Anyway, comes in at 6% ABV in a 750ml bottle. I believe it was about £2.50 from Tesco's. Mm -hmm. A lightly sparkling Perry, 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 Perry. Enjoy chilled, no artificial colourings, flavourings, or sweeteners. And made from 100% British grapes, I do believe. Okay. There we go. So, <laughs> this is a blast from the past. I really can't remember the last time that I drank this. I think it will probably go way back when I was about 14 or 15. That was some time ago. <laughs> it was a blooming long time ago. Right, I'm going to do this and I'll get a picture because this is a moment that I'm sure both Chris and me will be. Right, there we go. Oh, nice right, let me get a shot there we go. in case we haven't got anything for the thumbnail. The sort of guy Actually, I am. Actually, no, I'll be in this one. Oh, you'll be this in this one. This is kind of my review. Okay, fine, okay. Well, yeah, it was you that was requested. Which, <laughs> what it was, it was too chicken, Lou, to do it on her own, so I had to do and do it. So, right, okay, hold on. If I do it that way, we don't even need to do anything with it. We can just put it out. Well, then. Well, if I miss... You shouldn't be blinking in that the time. No, you're not there. Are. If I miss half your head, I'll never hear the last okay, of it. Okay, that's not too bad. That's Thank fine, you. that would do. My eyes are open. <laughs> Okay, so, so it looks like. Um, What's the cork then? It's a screw top. It's a screw top, yes, for your convenience. So Look at it that. really is looking just like a white wine. Blimey. You can see the bubbles coming up yeah. there. I was about to say, it's not a nucleated glass, but it's a wine glass. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, you can tell I'm used to that. But no, um, it gives me pleasure to do this, doesn't it? So let's, have a, let's start with a little smell. And in case you don't know Lou, and, know Lou and Chris, you really should do. But I will put a link in where we're on their live as well last Saturday, which was an absolute yeah, cracker absolute of a live. Yeah, absolute It was brilliant. Okay, so I am getting some nice fruit smells from this. A little bit of apple, pear. It smells quite fruity, actually. Well, I've seen what it does to Lou, so... <laughs> oh, it's cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> but that's about two or three bottles. It's got a, a sweetness smell. It, it's like it just smells kind of fruity to me. <laughs> he's, he's waiting. He thinks this is going to be a sugar blast. I I can't remember how sweet it is. Yeah, but let's I'll go be. in and have a taste. I'm more of a, a dry man, you know, like a dry Sauvignon Blanc, something like that, that sort of thing. Um, I haven't drunk wine for ages. Got an appetite. Come on, try it. We can't do that bad in the rub glass, can it? Mmm. Do you know what? It isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is quite pleasant. It's slightly sparkling. It's, it's not over the top heavy with the um, bubbles in there. It's not as sweet as I originally thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really, really sweet. It isn't too bad. It's it's quite refreshing on the whole. She's Team Lou, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, Jesus, come on, what's going on here? Um... Predominantly, I'm 
I'm getting a taste of pear in there. It's like, um, almost like one of those quite light summery type ciders almost. That have that fruit kind of taste to them. It tastes of pear to me. It's not as bad as I thought, if I'm honest. Um, in saying that, it's not that great. But this is a, a woman's thing. I mean, you're not going to see Chris, for argument's sake, sat there swigging loose wine, are you? I, Looking I at couldn't see me and going him a kiss. and getting a bottle of this and just and just drinking it because wine really isn't my thing. But on a summer's day, I think you could make some really nice kind of cocktail with this. Have yeah. it as a base for a cocktail. I think that would work. It's got that nice fruity pear kind of flavour. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I was thinking, yeah, I'll, I'll review this and I'm going to try and be nice about it, but it is not too that bad. But it's not that good, is what she means. Um, I mean, I love the love hearts on it. And I can tell you the availability of these, Chris, if you need to know, with the Robbie Williams exclusive glasses. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've definitely tasted a lot worse. Some you drank, those, you drank some a lot those, worse. Some um, of those proseccos that you can get are a lot more sugary, artificially sugary than that. Yeah, it's true. True. We've had to, we've had to worse. It's, as I say, it's not really my thing. It was never going to be. It was just something I was um, chatting to Lou and just, it just came up. Um, we kind of decided that Michelle should review it. Well, yeah, Lou decided. I, I agreed. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like I say, it's not something I would go to and just buy a bottle to drink, but I could see me mixing that with other things for some cocktail or something. What, beer? You could mix it with some cider. It, it has got that kind of cider vibe for me. A really one of those really light kind of ciders that you get during the summertime. Um, yeah, it's got that production. It's, been around, it's been around for years, so they, they do something right, aren't they? Mm. In, all, in, all, in all due honesty, it's, it's not just... Um, one that's just come along. I mean, everyone knows Lambrini, don't they? Yeah, no, no, so <laughs> it's been it. about for a really, really long time. Of course, I remember it when I was young, and that, 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 that's it. I can actually remember, and this is a true story. You see the scar there? <laughs> that's due to that. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> when I was 18 years old, and you know how many years that was that guy? So, yeah, that was to travelling in the car when I had to go get crash. it for someone, yeah. It was to get a bottle of Lambrini, and that was a long, long time ago. So, do you want to score it? It's probably I'm better I do, don't. I'm going to do the scorecard. <clears throat> I'm going to make Lou and Chris, hopefully, so for a, a in the nice future. a nice light alternative in the summer, I would probably make some kind of cocktail out of this. Uh, a little bit of gin in there. I can see um, passion fruit, maybe a little bit of mango. Oh, I can I can tell there's some flavours in there that I can pick don't out. Too many ideas. And, and make a really nice kind of fruity cocktail, some real fruit in there. This would be a good base for that. I'm I'm not as like oh as what I thought I was going to be with it. So this isn't too bad. This is going to get. Rate and I'll my say beer. I'm not giving it a scorecard. I'm going to give it a rate my beer of seven. This has got potential. It doesn't taste. I awfully, need one. What she's on. sweet, which I thought it was going to. Nice kind of pear taste. I could see that being good for making a mixer for cocktails, and I would definitely try that in the summer. So, thank you, Lou, for the recommendation. <laughs> um, thank you, Chris. It's Rob, yeah, the one you, you like. And what can we say? Bonjour. See you next time.